Google Calendar Tips and Tricks. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I will be showing you tips and tricks that you need to know if you're using Google Calendar. So let's get into it. You can go to calendar.google.com and you will land right here. Or what you can do is you can go to your web browser and search for Google Calendar and uh, you will select this one. We can also access our Google Calendar through our Google Apps here. You can see this is the calendar here and there is also a Google Calendar application that we can download you can sign into your google calendar really easily uh, with your google accounts if you have a google account then you're good to go so after signing into your google calendar this is where you will land now it's not just a calendar we have a lot of different options with google so you can see we have events task and we can even schedule our appointments with the calendar that we are getting so I'll show you some of the tips and tricks that you need to know if you're using Google Calendar. So the first thing that you need to know is that we can create more than one calendar within our uh, G calendar here. For instance, I can create my own calendar here. This is actually the calendar that I have. And then I can have a calendar for birthdays that will show me all the birthdays that I have. Then we have reminders tasks and we also have other calendars such as holidays click on this plus button and you'll be able to subscribe to a calendar and create a new calendar here click on create new and this will allow me to create a brand new calendar where i can actually separate my work and i can separate some of my things such as you can create a calendar for your personal use and then you can create a calendar for your work so let's call it work here and you'll be able to see that a new calendar will be created. You can also select the owner from here and this is going to be the owner for the calendar that you have created. So let's switch to our new calendar that we created. Let's go back and now you can see we have a work calendar here which is brand new. And now I can switch to my personal use calendar here. So you can see the difference. Now this is a tip that a lot of people don't know that we can actually create more than one calendar here and separate our work and personal use. Next thing you need to know about Google Calendar is that we can actually create events in task and when it comes to creating an event there are a lot of different options that are available and a lot of people don't know about this so let's create a new event while creating an event what you can do is you can actually expand your view and then you can select event task or appointment so let's create an event and call it new now we can actually select date and time here and you can see we can actually select this repeat option. If there is any event that is recurring, then you can actually select from here. If it repeats, then you can select when it repeats. For instance, daily, we have weekly on Tuesday, monthly, annually and more. So these are all of the repeat options and you can even go with the custom. Let's say that there is a meeting or an event that happens every Thursday or every Monday. So what you can do is you can just create a custom recurring task and it will be created here. If it doesn't repeat, then of course, what you will do is you'll select doesn't repeat and you will select a time. Let's say it repeats daily. So I'll just select the daily option here and then we will select our time and date. So this is how we can create recurring events and tasks within our Google Calendar. Then we have our selecting our location. Now, this is actually a really good feature that we are getting with our Google Calendar. What happens is that we can actually now create a link within our Google Calendar with Google Meet. So we know that Google Meet is provided by Google. Again, it's a meeting platform where we can actually create and host an event with up to 100 guests. So you can actually create a link and now you you can see it has been created and I can copy the link. It takes like one click to create an event within Google Meet as well. Then you can add a physical location too. And at the bottom here, we can even select different uh, things from our calendar, such as the visibility. So you can see we can actually create public and private event. And then when it comes to the customization, you can select different colors for different events. Maybe let's go with blue like so. And I'm going to change the time to, let's say, 8.15. And then we have here 9. And click on Save. And now you can see a new event has been created. And because it's a recurring task and it happens every day, so you can see now it has been created in my each column here. So this is the thing that you need to know while creating an event on Google Calendar. 
Next thing that you need to keep in mind is the reminder. A lot of people tend to forget that Google Calendar also offers reminders. This is actually one of the things that I really like because if you are using Google Calendar on your phone and if you are a person who forgets the meetings, if you want a reminder, a notification for it, then this is actually a really good feature. So you need to select what kind of reminder you want an email reminder or you can even select a notification reminder and then you will select the time you can even select a reminder while creating an event so you can see i have set a reminder 30 minutes before this we can customize this completely you can click on edit and you'll be able to edit the reminder option you can set reminders for 15 minutes before 30 minutes before 10 minutes before it totally depends on you so make sure to create the reminders when you are inside Google Calendar. Now, let me show you some of the tips that you need to keep in mind. Now, let me show you some of the tricks within our settings. Simply go to the settings at the top here and click here. Let me show you how to add a world clock into your Google Calendar. Go to the settings, then you will select world clock. And this will allow you to add more than one time zone within your Google Calendar. So I have one time zone here. I will click on show world clock, click on add time zone and this will allow me to add another new time zone into my Google Calendar. So this is actually one of the tricks that you need to know and now I can actually add another time zone really easily. Let's say I want to go with central time Mexico so I'll just simply select it and now you can see I have different time zones and I can add more than two. Events from Gmail. There is this option available within our Google Calendar, which is events from Gmail. Gmail can automatically create events that can be displayed on your calendar. These events will help you keep track of things such as flights and other reservations. Now, this is actually a very good feature for busy people. And if you want to create events automatically when you receive an email, let's say your boss sent you an email and they want you to create an event. And what happens is Gmail tracks that email, the time and date, and they will create the event for you. You have a flight and you got your data uh, within your Gmail. So what happens is Google Calendar will create an event for you using that data. So what happens is you can actually select the option from here, calendar default, private and only me. So you can select this from here and it will allow you to actually save a lot of time. After that, you need to keep in mind while using Google Calendar, we can access our other tools such as our keep here. Then we have task contacts and maps as well you can actually add add-ons so you can see we have add-on option here and it will allow me to select any of google app that i want to integrate to my google calendar so this also comes in really handy for instance i can go to maps here and if i want to search for a quick address or anything any location then i'll be able to search it from here google maps so yeah, guys, these are some of the tips and tricks that you need to keep in mind while using Google Calendar. I hope that I was a big help. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, turn on bell notification and subscribe to YouTube channel.